Hey friends, good morning, greetings. I'm coming to you from the city of Petra in the former country of Edom. So this was an Edomite city way back in the day. And uh, my previous video I talked about the city of Basra, the capital of Edom, which is just a little ways to the north here. Um, but uh, I wanted to point out that there's this thing out there that you can find evangelical preachers and teachers talking about. They call it the Petra Prophecy. Uh, just like I talk about the Basra prophecy in my previous video, this is another interesting prophecy about the end of days where they believe, based on their interpretation of scriptures, that this place, Petra, will be a place of refuge. And um, Christine Darg of the Jerusalem Channel is one that puts this out there. But uh, the idea in general uh, from these various teachers is that uh, the remnant or maybe 144,000 Jews will come here and be saved through the tribulations of the last days. However, in Revelation chapter 12, what we find is that the place prepared for the community, the, the woman who flees into the wilderness, is the wilderness. Now, during the time of John, this was a flourishing city of trade. Uh, so at the time he authored the book of Revelation, this would not have been the wilderness. This would have been a very habitable, uh, habitable place. Lots of uh, vegetation growing here because they had a very extensive irrigation system, which is just fascinating to walk around and see the remnants of. Um, but uh, the wilderness would be further out. It may be wilderness here today, but uh, the wilderness I believe John is referring to is the same wilderness that the children of Israel wandered in for 40 years, and that is to the uh, east and to the south of here. So this particular area would have been the country of Edom, which the children of Israel were not allowed to enter during their wanderings. Um, so this is not the wilderness where the remnant is saved. So the Petra prophecy is uh, kind of based on a fallacy. It's a the fallacy is maybe wilderness now. It was not wilderness then. It is not the wilderness that they're mentioning. So thanks for watching, friends, and go check out my previous videos, specifically one on Jordan in Bible prophecy. And uh, I hope that you'll find uh, some very interesting things in there as you continue to study. May God be with you. Shalom and salam.